Hi everyone, hope you're all doing well, hope everyone's good. Uh, I'm feeling really good, I've been to the gym, done a workout. Uh, I put a quick video up in the middle of this one uh, about that. But this is a, a little uh, video about when I was doing community service twice actually, community service in Milton Keynes and we used to be able to do it in a monkey sanctuary, <laughs> which it, it was no deterrent because being an animal lover like myself, uh, community service in a monkey sanctuary with monkeys, lemurs, um, they had a lynx, uh, all sorts of animals in there, like being in, in a mini zoo, that was no deterrent but it was it was really good fun. So. Um, this was my first my first stint there. It was called Peace, P-E-A-C-E. -E, and it was run by Roger and Monica. I've been to see Monica today for the first time in years. I did see her in, when she was in hospital a few years back. I went to visit her and uh, we had a chat then. So this is the first time I've seen Monica in a few years. So we've got a little picture together as well, which I'll put up. But the, the first time I was in there, I think I was 15 or 16. And I think I'd had some fights... And I've been arrested for some ABHs for fight. I had a fight with a little gang and had a fight with some more people. And um, a one-on-one -on -one I had a fight with. Then I had a fight with six six lads come up and I had a fight with them where they hit me with a bat. Um, and then it was just that sort of stuff. So I was in there for that one. And I think the second time I went in, I was about 21. And I had a fight with the police. I think I've said about this in another video. The police ran me over and I hit the police officer. And then they all see us gas me and had a fight with the police. So I was in there, I was in there twice, two times for community service, maximum hours. <laughs> but maximum hours, it was fun. So I enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, a lot, I've got to give a shout out to Craig Hamilton who was in there. Chris Palmer was there. Faye Thomas was doing it there as well. Now also in there was uh, Kelly George, who at the time was in Grange Hill. He was Ray from Grange Hill. Um, now... He wasn't a, doing community service. He was actually a volunteer, and he because he's got a love of animals, and he was also the trustee of the charity organisation. And um, yes, yeah, so Kelly was in there. Kelly was in there as a volunteer. He brought Dean Gaffney down a few times, I think, as a, as a celebrity to endorse the charity and help out with the charity. Uh, so there's, there's a few pictures I'll put up of that. Uh, me and Kelly actually, Kelly was actually not only in Grange Hill. He's been in a few good things. He was in Rock and Roller. He was in rock and roll. He played one of the hitmen. I'll put a little picture up of him as a hitman. But I tried to give him a bell today, uh, just to just to have a chat of him. There's a train going past there, um, but I couldn't get hold of him. So uh, I'll put some pictures up. It, me and Kelly actually met when he was in Grange Hill with Ray. We actually we started off with an argument. We had an argument in a nightclub. Uh, I was about 16, I think he's a couple of years older than me, he must have been about 18. We had an argument about something and um, we started off on bad terms, but we get on now. And uh, I spoke to him a few times and he's doing well with his acting, he's got some other companies up. But yeah, he was in there as a trustee. Uh, everyone enjoyed going there, Roger and Monica were, were great, great hosts and uh, really, really enjoyed it. Uh, it wasn't work, it was just fun, cleaning out the animals. You've got to be careful as well, There's the monkeys there. Uh, they could take your fingers off if you mess around with the monkeys. If they didn't like you, they could bite you and someone's ear got bit and they'd have your finger off. It, I mean, some of them had a, had a tempo. And, but I used to get on with one particular one called um, JJ. I used to come over and shake the hand. I'd put my finger in the cage for him to hold. Um, I'll let that train go past. Um, I, used to, I used to really, really get on with the lynx. They had a, a lynx called Royal. Uh, which I used to love going in with and stroking Royal, because um, I've got a love of animals as well. So it was it was just a really good place to be. They um, they hosted uh, uh, charity events. It was also a volunteer organisation, so they had work placements for people um, uh, doing work experience. I think they had them people there. So not just community service people. It was also work experience people. So it wasn't all naughty people. <laughs> Um, but yeah, really good days. I, I, talking to Monica brought back some good memories. The pictures that I've looked at today brought back some memories. It was, yeah, really, really good. So yeah, I was there 15 years old and I think early 20s. And I used to go back after. I'd still visit, even when the community service was done. We would go back and visit and um, say hello and say hello to the animals. And the monkeys always remembered you as well. They'd always come over and shake the cage and say so you go and stroke them. And it was nice to have that, that, that memory of them all and, and they remember you. Uh, Ruben, I remember Ruben was was a very big monkey, the biggest one they had there, really strong, 
Um, but yeah, really, really fun. So I thought I'd put a video out about that and give a shout out to Monica. Uh, Roger sadly passed away. But yeah, anyone from Milton Keynes would remember Peace Monkey Sanctuary. Anyway, hope you're all well. Thank you and catch up soon.